Hey y'all, it's your girl Nita and welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween month to everybody out there. I got for y'all something real special. This is a little tutorial on this Halloween inspired look. So if you'd like to learn how to get this look as well, just keep watching. All right guys, I'm gonna be priming my lids today with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm also gonna be blending that in with a flat top blending brush. Usually I use my Beauty Blender to blend it in, but for some reason I didn't pick that up today. So yeah, flat top blending brush it is. Next I'm gonna be putting some Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30 Cafe on top of that. Um, I just started recently doing this where I flip it instead of putting my primer on the bottom I put the concealer on top and it really just helped make that concealer a lot creamier the Urban Decay primer potion can sometimes get a little tacky and this just helps even and smooth everything out I'm also going to be adding some airspun powder to, uh, just to make sure that everything sets and nothing creases and now I'm going to be taking my Morphe 350M palette. This is the matte palette. And I'm going to be taking this orange color that I'm tapping right here. And I'm be putting that in my crease. I'm just going to be putting that all over my crease on both eyes. And just a nice wash of orange. And I'm also going to be deepening up a little bit. Just adding a little more color as I go. I didn't want to just throw this on there and then be like, oh snap, too much color. Next, I'm going to be taking this deep reddish orange color in the palette and I'm going to be putting that directly in my crease and I'm going to be concentrating that in the outer corner and sweeping that over into my crease towards the inner corner. And I'm going to want to build this up little by little. You don't want to add too much shadow at one time, especially with a darker color because then it becomes really hard to blend. So I'm going to keep adding a little at a time and blending as I go. After that, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out those harsh edges. You do not want harsh lines, ladies. That is a no-no. Blend to my liking. I'm gonna be taking that top corner um, orange shadow there and I'm gonna be patting that on the lid and I'm gonna pat a little at a time and work my way up to the intensity and orange that I want. After I pat the orange onto my lid to my liking, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna blend out any harsh lines that I might've created in the process of me working. And I'm also gonna be going into my Morphe 35C palette and I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the yellow shade in that palette and I'm gonna be using it to blend out my edges just to soften them a bit. And I'm going to be going in also with an orange that is also in that palette and I'm gonna be just deepening up that wash of orange I put in my crease earlier. After I'm done blending, I'm going to be taking the orange I patted onto my lid and I'm gonna be smudging that into my lower lash line. After I've smudged it in there to my desired liking, I'm gonna be taking a pointed Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm going to be just blending it out so that way it's not too harsh and just a bunch of orange under my lashes. Okay, you guys are gonna see me in the next couple clips. Uh, I'm going to have my lashes and my eyeliner done. I did those off camera, so don't worry ladies, I didn't magically snap my fingers and have them done. Now I'm gonna be taking my Mario Badescu spray, and I this is my first time using it. I saw this in Ulta and decided to pick it up, and I think it's pretty good. I don't wanna sit there fading my face for 100 years, so I decided to take my Beauty Blender to pat it into my skin and see if it'll help dry it out a little better and absorb it, and it actually worked really well. My makeup ended up setting really great and feeling really fresh and really light on my skin, so I think this is something I'm definitely going to work into my routine more often. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 338 Spicy Brown. I'm going to be dotting this on my face. I don't dot it all over. I usually do a swipe on my forehead, swipe on both of my cheeks, down my nose and chin and above my lips. Just 
to give me a light to medium coverage look. I hate wearing a full coverage foundation. It just makes it look, look and feel so heavy on my face. And I'm gonna be taking my NYX Liquid Illuminator in pure gold, and I'm gonna be swiping that on the areas where I put my foundation. I love mixing this with my foundation. It gives my face such a glowy and smooth look. It's just perfect. I, you don't have to do this, but I love it. This is just my thing. I'm going to be taking my Fix Plus and I'm going to be spraying that on a flat top foundation brush. I like to wet my brush, especially since I use the liquid illuminator. It really helps blend it and my foundation into my skin to give me a nice light to medium coverage look. Mama called me on the phone to ask you if I'm still trapping. I'm like, no ma'am. Heard the house still booming and you still get rapping. No, I won't slow down. Mama called me on the phone and I'm still trapping. I'm like, no ma'am. Never mind my foolishness, back to business. I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and I'm going to be patting that foundation onto my skin. I love going back in with my beauty blender just to make sure everything is nice and even and blended. Right now that I've gotten everything blended to my liking on my face, I'm going to go in and do my highlight. I'm going to be using two products for my highlight. The first one is the NYX Highlight and Contour Duo. And I, if you remember this one, this is what I was talking about in my products that I hate video. I've figured out a way to repurpose it as a highlight. So I'm going to go in with this first, do my little triangles on both sides. And then I'm gonna go in on top of that with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 30. And I just found that this just gives me a nice natural highlight. And I love really pretty bright highlights, but for me, a nice natural highlight is just the way to go. And this and the Fit Me Concealer mixed together are just the perfect one for me. All right, now that I got my highlight all squared away, I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and blend my life away. Please remember to blend. You do not wanna be caught out in these streets with unblended anything on your face. After I blended out my highlight, I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and I'm gonna use whatever little product is left on it just to blend out the edges of that highlight. When I'm done, I'm going to be setting my highlight and I'm gonna be using my translucent powder, my airspun powder in translucent extra coverage. And I'm not gonna be baking, I'm just gonna be patting it on and then sweeping it off very quickly. This stuff flash back like there is no tomorrow. So I tend to stay away from baking. I put on as much as I need and quickly sweep it off before I look like a Coke addict under the eyes. Like, it's ridiculous, guys. <laughs> After I'm done dusting off all that translucent powder, I'm gonna be going in with my MAC Give Me Sun and I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with that. All right, after I set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in and contour, and I'm gonna be contouring with the new NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in the shade Topaz Tan. This, I believe, is supposed to be some sort of like highlighting or bronzing stick. So if it is a bronzing stick, then I'm definitely using it for its intended purpose. I absolutely love this. Uh, it's really hard for me to find anything to bronze and contour my face. I'm very picky about it. So this was definitely a keeper. Like definitely check your local Ulta and NYX.com and see if you can pick one of these up.
Okay, after I'm done contouring, I'm gonna set my whole entire face with the Mario Badescu spray. While it's still wet, I'm gonna go in with my NYX highlighter in the shade Magnetic. I found out while your face is still wet, it's good to highlight because it really makes your highlight pop like there is no tomorrow. After I'm done highlighting, I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna be using the NYX Ombre blush in the shade New To Me. I am not really a blush person like at all. After doing 13 and a half years of dance and wearing bright red rouge, not here for blush. So this blush is like the perfect shade for me. Like it just gives me this nice bronze orangey like cheek and I love it so much. And there's even a little bit of highlighter in it. So my cheeks look end up looking highlighted to the gods, honey. All right, after I highlight, I'm gonna start on my lips. I'm gonna be using this Corez lip butter just to moisturize my lips because they've been looking hella dry as of lately and I don't know why. And then I'm going to be going in with some concealer and I'm gonna be doing a black lip. So I wanted to make sure that I laid down a nice, clean, even base. And I realized that concealer is the best way to do that. After I laid down my concealer, I'm gonna go in with the NYX, the new NYX suede lip pencil. It is a matte lip liner and guys, the color payoff is amazing on this. Look at this, you're gonna see my face and I'm gonna be like, damn. Um, this is in the shade Alien and these came out to match their suede lip creams that came out a couple months ago and I love it. I picked up a bunch of these to match all of the shades that I have. So I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm gonna fill them in as well. And you're gonna see me kind of do some horizontal, no, I'm sorry, vertical strokes. And that's just kind of me filling in some little areas that just don't get filled in when I'm going across. So that's what I'm doing when you see me do that. All right, y'all, let's wrap this up. So I'm gonna be going in with my Colored Rain liquid lipstick in the shade 2AM. This is a awesome black lip, lip, liquid lipstick, one of the best ones I've ever owned. And you're gonna see during my little slow-mos that my lips look like an ombre. I went back in and added some NYX suede liquid lipstick in the color Stone Fox for a little gray and black ombre lip and it worked out looking amazing. But the gag is, I forgot to press record on my camera and that did not get recorded. But you will see it in the slow-mos and if you follow my Instagram, if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen the look and boy was it a look. So this is it for the video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye. House party, house, house party. You and your friends, you and your hump, you and your hump girls. It could be you and your friends, you and your hump, you and your hump girls. We could go back to my crib so that we can all be alone, girl. We could take a couple more drinks so that we can all just let go, girl.